Hey, good morning everyone, Rochelle here. So today is day 10 of the Chloe Ting 2022 um, weight loss challenge. There's three workouts to do. One is a 15 minute hit. Then there is an arms and core. And then there is a flat tummy up one. So we'll definitely get the first one done. And we will attempt to get the second one done. And um, we'll see about the third one. Depending on how I feel after the first two. So one good thing. I was wandering past our shower room yesterday. We've got a mirror that basically is perfectly placed for seeing yourself side on. And I actually am starting to get some rounding in the rear end department. So I was quite chuffed by that. I'm still not getting rid of the rounding in the tummy department. But hey, we'll, we'll take every little bit that we can get. And I am actually quite pleased about that. So that's good. Still got a way to go, but you know, this is a work in progress. It's not something that's we're going to reach a point where we go, oh yeah, we'll, we'll do now, now we'll stop, because that's just not going to work. If we try that, we're just going to end up back where we started. Um, possibly worse than we started, because we don't all know how these things work. So, um, yeah, I'm actually feeling pretty good about things at the moment. Um, we also had someone come over to have a look at some work that needed... Um, doing that the company that they worked for um, had originally done after the earthquakes and um, they're going to fix the stuff that wasn't quite right thinking about there's more stuff I could have brought up but I brought up the stuff that was important and I don't really feel right about taking advantage because most of what was done even if it wasn't quite right was close enough and it's the company has had two, at least two changes in the franchise owner since then. So it's definitely not their fault. And aside from that, EQC were a, well, a pain in the rump to work with, shall we say. So anyhow, let's get on to this. This is the important thing. This is what you're here for. And um, yeah, let's get started. Okay. I've done this one before, this is a new exercise for me. Okay, we're doing this one without the jump because I'm still ankles are still not recovered from the other day. Oh, and I had a particularly bad day yesterday with what I was eating. So, yeah, yesterday I went to the supermarket, came back with rather more sugar than I should have, eight all sugar. So, that was not a good choice. 
was I have to be expected. Considering that I had had some stuff bagged for me the previous day. You know, the day before. And I do tend to find that when I have a day with a bit of bad, then a day or so later, I have a lot of bad. So the good thing about lunges, you get a bit of a stretch in the hip flexor at the same time, which I need. Hey, quick talk in my wrist bag. This feels totally awkward. <laughs> And my mat is walking backwards. Great, I'm going to take what belongs. Right. Anyway, so on what I'm wearing today, these are green style tempos made by me. Fabric comes from uh, New Zealand fabrics. This is a Marika top, and this one is uh, another green style made from cotton lycra from um, for fabric's sake which is another new zealand online company this fabric is athletic
So we're apparently halfway. Right, break time. So this is actually definitely getting my heart rate up. Well, it feels like it is. Let's get my 24. So, well, my foot is definitely, the left foot is definitely reacted to the ankle turn. The spot that goes ouch is definitely still going ouch. I have come down a bit. Not quite so happy now. I forgot to actually strap it up for the walk. So, back to weaning myself back off the sugary stuff. I've got some low sugar dark chocolate to use today. And chips. And then tomorrow will be chips. And then we will be back to fruit. Assuming there's nothing left to eat. I'm going to have to go out and get more fruit. Slightly. My husband's work bag is in the way. I'm supposed to be at work today, but he ran into a small problem with access. So he's working from home instead. Hopefully, tomorrow he'll be able to get into the building. That's just a technical issue. Probably not entirely surprising after the long break. Okay, so, short break. Knee kick. I can definitely feel this one in the back. Okay. 
Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh. Well, that is just a little grumpy on that one. Yeah, completely lost track of what I was doing there for a moment. Okay, so that's the first one. <clears throat> Gosh, we're just going to get the second one up and running. Right, a bit on the sweetie side. Okay. Now let's get my husband through this lot at some point. He's got um, a shoulder that he's basically torn all the ligaments and not bad enough to actually require surgery, but bad enough that it's weakened everything. And he's just damaged the elbow on that side as well. So basically that whole side is weak as a result of that. The fault of judo, but if he stops judo, then other things stop working. So he's in a bit of a bind. He can't do without the judo because if he does, it causes issues with his neck. He needs the muscle strength that's built up from that to help support the arthritic joints in his neck. But of course he wouldn't have that problem if he hadn't been doing judo since he was a wee tot. Okay, reverse brakes. Now 
okay, I don't think we're going to do more challenging. This is challenging enough, thank you. It should be up here. I can't quite manage that properly. I keep sinking. <laughs> This one's easier said than done when your arms are already complaining oh, about the previous one. But we will try. Definitely not as fast as her. But then we're not as strong as her. And we've got more weight to lift. She is. I'm fairly sure looking at her a tiny little thing. This one looks kind of uh, bigger than I have to do the knee version. She's doing the foot version. I can't do the foot version yet. Just bring my foot in. No. There is no way I can reach my foot. Wrist this one. Okay. Just about gave out there. Oh, 
the way down. I think all the way down and come on top of this. That's as far as I go at the moment. I just need to loosen my shoulder strength. Okay, that one is one I can't do, not like these anyway, feet just, okay, quick drink, and then grab walk apparently. She's not worried about it being tricky. I'm definitely not doing it, and she does. I can't do both at the same time. Get walk. Okay, this is nasty. Oh my god. Starts off you know, feeling not quite as bad as the other one and then quickly goes into oh my god. <laughs> it's amazing just how much your arms weigh. Oh it's a piece of wood. Oh my god, that's the end. Okay, well, I think we're going to stop it there. Yes, there is the flat stomach and abs ones, but I think we just determined that the abs that I thought I had have actually left the building. <laughs> and um, most of the abs stuff, you tend to need your arms to support yourself. And right at the moment, my arms have turned into rubber bands, basically. Sorry, just checking the orange that's in there. Make sure it's actually still an orange and hasn't turned into a green puffball. So, yeah, that is me done for the day. Sweating. Uh, definitely sweating. Um, yep, yeah, arms are stuffed. I can definitely feel that my abs have done some work. Bum's fine. But then I've always been relatively strong in that department. Obviously not as strong as I thought I was, because if I was, then I wouldn't be seeing some changes in shape. But, um, yeah, that's it for the day. Thank you for watching. I am going to cool down, do some stretches. And then go do some sewing, I think. So thank you for watching and uh, we'll see you tomorrow.
Bye.